India, a land of rich cultural heritage, its people steeped in traditions of ancient and diverse faiths, Indian life, Indian art, and perhaps most of all, Indian architecture display the diverse panoply of significant and powerful symbols, expressive of the innermost life of the spirit of man. Symbols that unite man with his creator. Symbols that have often separated him from his fellow man. Four hundred years ago, Shah Akbar, the greatest of the Mughal emperors, from his magnificent palace near Agra, dreamed of uniting all the diverse people of India under the banner of one universal faith. Well, I dreamed that stone by stone, I reared a sacred fane, a temple, neither pagode, mosque, nor church, but loftier, simpler, always open door to every breath from heaven. And truth and peace and love and justice came and dwelt therein. But such a goal remained far beyond the reach of even the most powerful emperor. In 1880, Jamal Effendi sailed to Bombay, bringing the Baha'i faith, the teachings of Baha'u'llah to the Indian subcontinent. The Baha'i faith, newest of the world's major religions, proclaimed the underlying spiritual unity of the diverse peoples and religions of humankind. The impending fulfillment of Akbar's dream, a truly universal religion. Through the next 100 years, the Baha'i community grew, developing the foundations of religious unity. The young Baha'i community longed to build a unique temple that all the people of India could recognize as their own. After a century of germination, a remarkable lotus-shaped temple has blossomed in the heart of India. Attracting more than two million visitors a year, rivaling the Eiffel Tower and the Taj Mahal, the new temple welcomes people of all races, all religions, all cultures, and all classes. It is the Baha'i House of Worship, Mashrikal Askar, the dawning place of the mention of God. It is an achievement of the human spirit, marking the conclusion of the first century of the Baha'i faith in the Indian subcontinent. A new embodiment of an ancient symbol, this remarkable structure has been widely hailed as one of the most outstanding architectural achievements of this generation. The Times of London called it the Taj Mahal of the 20th century. Its design is a unique blend of today's most advanced technologies with traditional craftsmanship. In its structure is the labor and commitment of the people of India. In its concept is a unity embodied in a symbol that lies at the heart of India's spiritual heritage, the lotus flower. The temple itself reflects qualities of the community that built it. Followers of Baha'u'llah, the glory of God, prophet founder of the Baha'i faith. In just over a century, this young faith has spread throughout the planet, reconciling ancient religious beliefs with the knowledge